Hi. Tonight, none of the things I'm gonna talk about are new, and some of them have actually been out there for a while now. However, it's not until now that I have enough of these devices so I can talk a little bit more about them. And I'm referring to the Nest products. The only thing that I hadn't uh, gotten myself into until now had been uh, video cameras. I had been tinkering with the idea of uh, getting a couple of uh, video cameras because um, I have a little dog and sometimes when I'm not at home I like to take a look at what um, she's doing and make sure that she's uh, doing fine. So um, after um, thinking uh, of the idea I decided that um, I would give it a try with the Nest cameras. Mm -hmm. I will go through uh, the cameras themselves and uh, all the other Nest products that I have now in my home. I'm gonna go over each one of the physical devices um, quickly and uh, later I will uh, show you in the app how they look and um, the different information that you get from each one of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing that. This is my Nest thermostat. This is one of the Nest Protect modules that I have installed. I have four in total. This is the one that I have installed in my kitchen. I got myself a new Nest outdoor camera. So this is how the Nest outdoor camera looks like. I'm just gonna take it out of its box and then I'm gonna figure out how it works and then I'm gonna install it outside in my backyard so I can take a look later when I'm not at home to see what my dog is doing and I have a little bit uh, better peace of mind knowing that uh, she's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with taking it out of the box. So this is what you get out of the box of the camera. You get your magnetic mount, you get your power adapter, you get the camera itself and you get a mounting bracket and you get some anchors and some screws so this is how it looks and I'm gonna try to figure out how everything goes together and then um, I'll show you how it looks once I have it all set up outside in my backyard. So this is how the camera looks once it's installed. As you can see it can be a little bit troublesome to the wiring to it but uh, it comes with uh, cable tightener, it's a matter to find a way how to better route it to your power source. So in general this is how the camera looks once it's installed. The only issue or advantage the way you prefer to see it is that this camera requires constant power supply connection so the routing could be a little bit tricky if you don't have an external outlet where you want to install your camera. So in this case I could find a workaround so it doesn't look that bad and it has excellent quality image this one is the one for inside the house this is how it looks this is what comes in the box for those who haven't seen the Nest Cam before this is what comes in the box the camera itself its power supply cord the power adapter and some bracket to mount it on the wall and some screws so this is the indoor camera, the Nest Cam. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. This is the new Nest indoor camera that I just recently installed in my living room. Now that you have seen how they look uh, installed and uh, working around uh, my home, I'm gonna show you how things work um, inside uh, the Nest app. So um, in here now you can take a look and um, Nest has a nice layout of uh, its devices. Once you set them up and you have them displaying in your uh, phone. So uh, here, for example, it lists uh, your cameras. I have uh, my two new cameras and one is uh, from the backyard and the other one is in my living room. So now I have a clear picture of um, what is happening um, in those places. The image is uh, pretty um, clear, pretty uh, sharp. And um, it, uh, the, the good thing that I like is also that um, you have uh, sound and um, also you are able to uh, 
Um, it's it has two-way um, communication. Yeah. Here it has a little microphone, and uh, here if you press it, you'll be able to uh, interact with uh, your pet. If you are using your uh, camera the way I am to um, take um, to keep an eye on my pet, you you can interact with them uh, via this um, microphone button. The other nice feature of the cameras is um, that um, it has a nice image when it's um, during the night or when it's dark. The image is uh, really clear with uh, its infrared sensors and uh, it's black and white, but uh, the image looks absolutely clear. You have a general layout of uh, your how you want to name uh, your environment. In this case, I just named it uh, my home and uh, you have there your camera as many cameras as you may have will show up here and then uh, you will have your thermostat which uh, is right here and then um, you will have uh, your nest protect devices if you have uh, any as well they will show up here so in my case i have four nest protect devices um, they are also really good smoke and um, CO detectors. Uh, they're a little bit on the higher end in price at $130 here in Canada, but I think um, they are very uh, good quality. Like uh, whenever I've been cooking or uh, an alarm goes off because of uh, uh, smoke, uh, it works well detecting it. It's really loud, like uh, sometimes. Um, I even think that uh, they can hear me in the whole neighborhood when the alarms go it's off. It's a little bit hard, like if you want to go strictly with the law, you are supposed to have one of these in each uh, bedroom. So I just limited myself to have one on each level of my home. So that's why I have four. In here you, you get information of the sensor itself. It runs self-diagnostic test every month and uh, it, it shows you here the status of your sensor like uh, when it was tested like if the alarm is working fine uh, the status of the battery and if you have a good connection with your wi-fi so uh, and here you can see the history on how how um, uh, many events you have had so every day and night it um, run a diagnostic run and um, if everything is fine you will see a green glow and um, also, it has a feature that if you enable it uh, at night, uh, when you walk by, it uh, will turn on a uh, night light, a white night light, so it keeps your areas illuminated. So that also works very well. And uh, so I've been really happy with uh, the Nest Protect uh, devices. They work really well. And um, here uh, they, they all synchronize themselves like if you have an alarm in one area they all sound uh, at the same time in the different areas that you have them located so there is no chance that no no one will hear it mm, that nobody will miss it uh, around in your house when uh, something goes on and um, an alarm is detected the other thing is that um, you can silence the alarm right uh, from the app when um, the uh, alarm happens you are allowed to uh, silence the alarm directly from your phone so you don't have to jump to the sensor to try to silence it so that's a nice feature to have also you can uh, use other services like stringify or um, ift to um, make a combination of recipes like for example if you have hue lights and um, you get an alarm you can set your lights to turn for example red if you get uh, an alarm just uh, so that you get a more visual uh, representation of when an alarm is happening so it has a lot of uh, third-party integration with um, ift or stringify if um, you want to uh, create recipes or workflows to uh, uh, send you alarms or notifications when um, something goes on in your house so this is how it looks here within the app the nest protects the um, thermostat 
and the Nest cameras. The only thing that I wish is that um, I uh, I don't like to have different apps for a whole lot of different um, home automation devices. So it would be great if all these could be integrated into the Smart Things app. I don't know why it hasn't happened and hopefully one day it happens so that um, you can integrate everything into the smart things app and you can um, add uh, conditions or more automation possibilities um, when something happens so hopefully that uh, happens one day but if not like it's the, the nest app works uh, really great one thing i uh, forgot to mention about the cameras is that um, once you purchase it um, they will offer you a service um, I think it's like ten dollars a month where you can um, store your history of events up to one month uh, back so um, I don't know yet if I want that um, if you don't have the service you get one month free when you buy your camera so uh, you can decide later if uh, you really want to get the service or not it's, uh, it's not bad, you get notifications uh, by email and you can set different uh, features like um, uh, safety area that if motion is detected in a specific area you get a notification. Um, in general uh, you get here a timeline where you can see all the different events that happens when uh, activity is detected. So I think if you don't have the service, you only have access to the last three hours of uh, events. And if you pay uh, for um, the monthly service, then you get like up to 30 days of uh, history. So here, it's a nice way to keep track of um, what is happening in the area. You are taking a look at your camera. Like here, for example, I can take a look at, of uh, what my dog was doing when I was away from home. So. Um, I feel a lot better now that um, I can at least uh, know that my dog is doing well when um, I'm at war. About integration, like I said, I would love to see this to be integrated to the SmartThings app, but um, the one that I can see that uh, already has uh, some sort of integration is uh, if you have seen my other video about my garage door openers, I recently got myself uh, the MyQ Chamberlain system for the garage openers. In here, it has um, an integration with uh, your Nest products. And here you can see your garage uh, that you have set up. And I have two garage doors that I open with my MyQ uh, device. And then on the other hand, you have access to all of your uh, Nest products. In this case, uh, my cameras and my thermostat. I still don't know and I haven't seen any real advantage or benefit to have access or linked your Nest products and your Chamberlain products. I still have to, I haven't found how it can be done that you can get benefit out of it. Like for example, if your doors are, garage door opens that uh, your cameras start recording or that your uh, thermostat um, changes in temperature or even mode from home to away so I still don't know if it can do that and I really haven't found a way that it has a benefit to have your um, MyLink products linked to uh, to have a uh, MyQ um, product from Chamberlain with uh, the Nest um, but uh, if you want to have access from uh, this other app, you are totally uh, able to do so. You have access, when you try to access the camera, it takes you to the Nest app. And if you want to take have access to your thermostat, when you press on it, you can switch uh, between away and home modes. So, I don't know, um, it's just another way to interact with your Nest products. And it's the only one that I've seen that uh, has the ability to link between uh, apps. I like to see this uh, feature with the SmartThings Hub app you know, rather than with MyQ um, from Chamberlain, but hopefully one time um, that will happen. And in that way you can get more flexibility in what you can do with your SmartThings uh, environment and including your Nest uh, applications. 
So right now, like I said, take a look at my video from Chamberlain for my garage doors. And um, in this uh, way, you, you can see here that you can integrate both your Chamberlain and your Nest product. So that's it. So um, if you have any questions in regards to any of these devices, just let me know and I'll try to answer. And um, hope you uh, found this video useful. And if you're thinking to get uh, more Nest products to your um, home automation setting, this is how it would look uh, when you add them to your Nest uh, app in your phone. So um, thank you and uh, talk to you guys sometime later. Bye.